that when you take a picture, I can get your location. I can get the device that took the picture. I can get a lot of things about the picture. That is called metadata. Today on our social media, we have a lot of fake profiles. Someone wants to do a business with you. Someone wants to be your friend. You want to go into a relationship with someone. All that you have from the person is a picture. How can you confirm that the person is real or fake or scammer or a froster? I receive a lot of images, a lot of pictures, a lot of DM messages, links. They want to do business with me. They want to be my friends. How do I know that they are real or fake? You know, today with just a simple online tool, I'm going to show you how you can check the profile or how you can check exactly details about an image or someone who claims to be somebody, right? So today I'm going to show you right here on YouTube. If you are new to this channel, what you have to do is just subscribe and click on the bell icon. Anytime we deliver or we, we bring you good content like this, you'll be the first person to see it. Pick your device, pick your phone or your laptop, let me show you. I just want to show you how simple this is. So I'm not going to use my, any of my laptops, I'm going to use my mobile phone. So you can follow up with me. So pick your mobile phone, go to any favorite browser, right? Then search for yandex.com right yandex.com so there's it right so when you come here what evidence do you have do you have an image a video that you want to research or you want to find out about the person or the identity of the person for me i have an image i receive a lot of images so i have downloaded one of the images and i'm going to show you so you come here you come to images so you click on images here then you see here you come to this very lens here then we want to upload so you come to this very lens here then you select your image you want to upload so this image then you go to done right now so let's if we are uploading that image to see everything about the image this website was developed by the russians so it's in russian language so if you want to really translate anything you can do that but you can really get a lot of things without even translating it Woo! you see this person told me he wants to be my friend and he is in somewhere around south africa but looking at this image this person is called hannah who Hannah Myro. What? Ah. So you can see this this person is a celeb. The Twitter account is here. Wow, wow, wow. So you now even revealing a lot of things secret about this image. So you can see this is how you can search for images, right? So you can really click on everything. So you want to find out about these. I can click on this just to go and read about this very person, right? Let's see. Let's see. You see? Whoa. So it's giving me other info. So if time, if you have time, you can just go through to really read about the person, right? So that is number one, yandax.com, right? You want to find out about the image. Normally, the limitation with this site is if the person is well known, mostly the frosters, what they use, they use uh, models, they use public images, you know, they use people, internet images. And all the internet images, this website will flag it for you. You will see the identity, right? But when they take personal images and those stuff, let me show you what to do to get such information from them, right? So the second, what uh, the second I'm going to show you is what we call these photoforensics.com. Photoforensics.com, right? I'm going to find out about this image. I'm going to get a lot of information about this image. What I have to do is I'll come to if it's a, a link that has been sent to you, you use image link, right? If it's a upload, if it's a picture, you have the picture, you can use it. So right now, go to your DMs, go to the person who, who is trying to chat you. Normally, you see them using um, old images, people like, because they want to really defraud you with emotions, right? Uh, they want, he loves you and those kind of stuff. You no, know, it's really not. What do you think, right? So there are lots of things you do, and this is just one of them. That's why I'm saying that subscribe to this channel. We are going to periodically update you with all the things you need to do to find out, right? So today we are just checking about the picture. We can also check about the idea, the, 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 the platform, the account to see how genuine they are, when they, how many followers they have, how many followers they have, how many people are following them. If they post their interactions, what really happened, you know, how, when, even you see someone chat, trying to chat to you, uh, to tell you that he, he's, he's a minister, he want to help you, and you see that the account was created two months ago, how come, you right? So you see, all these things are fraud element in there, but today, my motive, my idea, my gender with you today is quite simple, with images, how to find it. So the second one is with photo forensics, so you come to choose, you're going to choose a photo, you go to downloads, right? 
So let me go to the image I want to use. So I want to use this image, right? So here, upload the image. Upload the image. We want to get information about this image. Woo, you see, this is it. So what we want to do is we want to get the metadata. Everything about this image. So you come to here, the analysis side, you click over there. You click the, the analysis over there. Then you go to metadata, right? So you see, woo, a lot. Bunch things come. Software. This image has been enhanced. It has been edited by Photoshop. Modified date is there. Exit version. Exit image. So you see Adobe, even how they save the images is there. Format. Metadata. Date. You know, everything is here. You see? Encoding. See? So image size. The, the megapixels. Right, right, right. This resolution, they are all here. So when you use, when you should use computer, you get a lot of information. Even the phone, I'm still getting a lot of information, right? So even here, the instance ID and the uh, document ID, you can all use that to check the person, right? So these are some of the ways, right? I can also use my Kalilinos, right? With a zip file, uh, with the zip file uh, two in the Kalilinos. Uh, I, I can really do a pretty lot of stuff with it. I can even get the location of the image that, that you have sent to me, right? So let's be very careful and let's know that today, all the people, even uh, this platform, we can even use this platform. Uh, let me show you here. Let me have, I have some platform here that we can even use. So come to uh, Forensic Car, the Forensic Car, right? You can come to Forensic Car, right? Or you can go to 29a.ac slash photo forensics, right? Or you can just go to Google and search for forensic car, right? So here you can upload an image and you can get, let's see, you can get chrome detection. It's a powerful tool that I normally use. You can get error level analysis. You can get the noise analysis level swap. You know, you can get a lot of this. Even here you can get the metadata from this, right? So this is a, also a great uh, platform that you can explore. Normally what I do is I will show you. Then if you are interested, you take your time to go through and learn about it right you can't just use this video and watch this and think you are okay yes you are okay it's an eye open video it's educative video it's informative video but what you have to do next is take your time go through one after the other the person who is in your dm disturbing you that he or she loves you find out about him ask his name and go to online if he's using those fake public images you will definitely get an info about the image then you know that you no, know, this account is fake or for the first test. Then you just block the person, right? So this is what we do on this platform. We bring you an eye open and a very good content every day for you on the social media. Because today we have a lot of fake people online, and all that they want is they need either your money, they want your downfall, or they want to hack your account. So you have to be very careful. That's where I bring an end to this very video. But please do subscribe because we are going to dive into this, right? It's very key for me. We are going to dive into it. How you can check for fake images, fake identity online. There are a lot of tools. Very soon we'll go into our Kali environment. So we are going to talk about how we can start with Kali so that we can also get a lot of information over there. Because I, be, I believe that with the Kali environment, we can get a lot of information. So this is called image OSINT, right image OSINT. so you can research about OSINT investigation or also for instance digital investigation right the name to remain dk cyber thanks and also do share subscribe